Big Z Reviews. Memory, the origins of Alien. is a new uh, documentary about, you know, the process of creating and filming and and what is meant for this for film of the excellent movie The Alien or Alien which is uh seeing its uh, 40th anniversary this year and I did enjoy this look in it Hans Rudi Giger's images they were sexual mechanical biological and Ridley Scott was a gift from the gods Ridley wasn't certain how that was going to happen. All this innards of a cow and the blood. That was Ridley wanting this to connect to the phobias that come from our ancient past. They were all thinking about this as more than a science fiction adventure in the future. So Alien is probably in my top 10 favorite movies of all time. I, I mean, it is such an amazing film, like a horror film and a science fiction film. It's just so perfect, everything about it. And you know, a lot of the stuff that I knew about it was more with Ridley Scott. You know, it's a Gorney Weaver and, you know, a lot of the stuff, you know, the stuff that, you know, the extras on the DVD and thing, you know. But I don't know, I didn't know as much about, like, the the writer. The, the screenplay and the story is created by Dan O'Bannon. And this is really kind of his baby, you know, that he, Ridley Scott, you know, he, he, he was trying to get this movie made by multiple people. Until Ridley Scott came on, and finally, with Ridley Scott, they would get a bigger budget, and they would get someone that, you know, a true filmmaker in that to really to get the best uh, movie that this story could have ever had. And I think it's really interesting to see, you know, the early, the early things like with Star Beast from from Dan O'Bannon, and all the things that kind of led to this. And I, I liked the, the the way they presented it. It was interesting, you know the. How they, I, there's a lot of stuff I didn't know about that, that this movie presented that I really enjoyed. But I think the most odd thing about this, the, this documentary, is that there is no involvement from Ridley Scott or Sigourney Weaver. And that's odd. <laughs> you know, I think that there is some shade thrown uh, on Ridley Scott towards the end of the documentary where they finally go into uh, and they, like, what's meant for the rest of the film and they talk about how you know, what really Scott has tried to do with Prometheus and, you know, with, with his last two movies and that he's, like, going back to, like, how could you improve perfection? And, like, how... Uh, like, a lot of a lot of time is spent on how they made the chest burster scene. And that's really interesting stuff. But, like, they... Like, they... they say, and then they say, like, they show the, the ch chest burster scene, scene from the last film. You know, the last... Uh, the, Prometheus 2, wherever it's called, the, uh, and I forget what, I actually forget what this name is at the moment, but, um, you know, they, how they say that in the room, it was, like, completely bright white, and you could see everything that's happening, and it was, like, you wouldn't expect something that to happen so horrifying, and then in the new movie, it's so dark, and you can't really see anything, and it's, like, exactly what a more, like, what you, what you think, uh, you know, a, a filmmaker would do to try to hide everything, so it's, like, it's so, like, they were really throwing shade on Ridley Scott, so uh, maybe I don't know if they did that after he refused to to be on the documentary. But they still still get stuff from Ridley Scott, but it's all like stock footage from the DVD extras. So it's interesting, and really they don't have anything from Sigourney Weaver. And that was probably that I found the oddest thing about it. Like they don't, they barely even mention her. Like, they, and there's a lot of interesting stuff, too, with how, like, they kind of, they barely mention it, but the idea that, like, the best female character ever in, in films is is so good because it was originally supposed to be a man. And they, they talk a little bit about that, but they don't bring in Sigourney Weaver at all, and I think it feels like they're this, it's missing from the film. And that's probably my biggest critique of it. They got some of the other actors, and there's some interesting stuff that they have to say about it. But I feel like they uh, it's tough, you know, to do, um, you know, a documentary or a film when you can't get the biggest person in it. You know, but I think it is a smaller production. I think it's not that huge. But it is a very interesting look into this movie. And I mean, like, I, I'm hoping that, I think, like, next week or sometime in October, I know they're having uh, Phasm events for the 40th anniversary of Alien on the big screen. 
So I think I'm going to try to go see that coming up, hopefully. So maybe I'll do a full review of the film, too, of the film coming up, if I do get to see it in theaters. But, you know, as this memory, like, it's it's a well-crafted documentary, and I, I learned a lot of stuff that I didn't know. Like, I already knew a lot, you know, about H.R. Geiger and a lot of, you know, how it inspired a lot of stuff. But I did really like learning more about Dan O'Bannon. This is... He's kind of like the main focus of a lot of this movie. And I, I really like to learn a lot more about him. But I think, as you, as, so I would recommend that if you are a fan of Alien, there's actually maybe a lot of stuff in there that you don't really know. But I think that some, some of the people they got to critique on it, like, they're, some are okay with some, like, this one, this one woman really wants to make a case for how, like, it's, the movie is all about misogyny and stuff. And there is some stuff with that. The whole movie is kind of about, like, male rape. You know, and there is some stuff about it, but this the one the one uh, presenter, the one person they have talking about, really wants to make the whole case about that. But it's funny that they don't really have any of the other people talk too much about it. You know, <laughs> but it is I I, I liked it. it. It was interesting. I'd probably give it like an like an eight point two five out of ten. But uh, thanks for watching. You guys, play it in my head, and the guys shooting at Z over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z movie review. Thanks for watching.